Good morning. It's Sunday morning. Yes, it is. And uh, I have not filmed hardly anything over the past day and a half. My hair is a f mess. Hey everybody, it's John Thomas. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video today. I am so excited to take you around Beijing. Uh, it is already Sunday and I haven't filmed the last day and a half, so I do have to apologize because I was not expecting to be able to spend as much time as I have been with my friends who I haven't seen in months here. I did not film at all on Friday night and Saturday, but today is Sunday, it's a new day, it is sunny outside, so I am excited to get out into the city today. On top of that, I was in Beijing a couple of weeks ago and I did have a chance to do a couple of things that I'm gonna show you in this video as well. I'm excited to show you a little bit of my Beijing. All right, so we are in one of my favorite parts of Beijing, the Gulua? Gulo. Gulo. This is Eric, you've hey, seen him before in Shanghai. How's it going everyone? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna just check out the street here and uh, I mean look at this old building. Anyways. Alright, let's check it out. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> Behind me is the drum tower. The drum tower was originally put in as kind of a home for music and then later it was designed or kind of shared everybody the time and now it's just a tourist attraction. So now we're here on Nanlo Guxiang, and that is one of the side streets in the Hutongs that has so many shops and just exciting uh, food options and massage places and all sorts of stuff. So uh, check it out. So there are so many amazing side streets like this one that you can go down here on Nanlo Guxiang and be able to kind of see even more of the hutongs in the city. It's, we're here early, so there's not as many people here now, but typically like you can barely even walk down these streets. So it's really exciting to kind of be here when it's a little bit slower. So I also got some new shoes. I will tell you all about that here uh, as I show you a little bit about the store, but it is a Shanghai based company and it started in the 1920s. And uh, let's hear what Eric has to say about that. Xavier is a footwear brand established in Shanghai. And it means to leap or to fly over, but often translated as flying forward. <laughs> and then they were first produced in Shanghai in the 20s, 1920s. 1920? Yeah. Alright, so I've arrived at 798 in Zhongwen in Mandarin. It is Qi Jiu Ba, which is just the numbers. And it is an art district here in Beijing. And I believe it was like an old warehouse at some point. I think maybe I missed the entrance though. Oh, maybe I got it. Alright, I messed up. I should have checked in at the front. So now I've got to walk back. Now I made it in. 
I'm in kind of the industrial part, so I'm excited to show you guys what that looks like, and then I'll show you a lot of amazing graffiti artwork that you'll see all around this area. There's a lot of coffee shops where you can pop in to have a quick coffee, and some restaurants, and art galleries, so it's really, really cool. So look forward to showing it to you. I think what I love most about 798 is how many people are here just to take some great photos. There's so many awesome photo destinations here, so if you're interested in that type of thing, then this is definitely a place for you. See a little photo shoot happening down here. Another photo shoot happening over here. Photo shoots everywhere. All right, I'm on the roof now. All right, check out some more of these old factory buildings. That ends Chijo Ba for the day. I am leaving 798 on to the next destination. If you're coming to Beijing, you should definitely see it. You're never gonna be able to see it all. Uh, so if you're here for a couple days, you can probably come for a little bit each day to see a little bit. But it's a really fun place that I'm sure you would absolutely love if you came to Beijing and saw. All right, let's go. I finished at Chijou Ba, it is now 5.30 and I've made it to San Latun, which is one of the most popular shopping areas here in Beijing. Now, not only is this a shopping area, but there's tons of restaurants and bars to hang out in and lots of activities to do as well. So I thought I would show you around San Latun today and check out like all the people here. Maybe show you some of those photographers that are taking pictures of all the cool people in their fashion, not this guy in my t-shirt, and uh, take you guys to a couple of the restaurants and bars uh, tonight. So let's hang out in San Latune for the rest of the night. One of my favorite areas in San Latun is actually across the street from the major mall and kind of across the street from Intercontinental Hotel. And it's got a ton of restaurants and bars and it's maybe not where everybody would go but it's definitely some great uh, food and drink. A couple of the places that are really great here are Q-Mex and Taco Bar. Those are two of the best Mexican restaurants here in Beijing and every time I come, I come to one of those restaurants. There's also some great bars. One is called Jane's and Hooch. Uh, just a really fun environment and a great place to grab a drink. As well as uh, a place called The Local that is definitely a local. Great food, great drinks, and great atmosphere. So if you're in this area, come swing by this part because it is one of my favorite parts of this whole San Latun kind of shopping, dining, entertainment area. I think I'll continue showing you guys some of the best places to have a drink here in the San Latun area. So I'm gonna head over to La Social. All right, let's head over to La Social. All right, this is one of the coolest bars in Beijing. It's hidden up in the third floor of this building and it is so much fun. I'm glad that it's still light outside. And I'm just gonna have a quick margarita, continue with the trend, but definitely wanted to show you guys this place. It's one of my favorites to come back to every single time I visit Beijing. So, cheers for another margarita. Side note, it's also really strange to be at a bar at 6.30 in the evening when nobody else is here. Literally nobody. I think this place really picks up in the nighttime. I mean, how could it not with this music? I'm sure you're hearing it now. So good. All right, good morning. It is 7 a.m. Yeah, 7 a.m. I am at the Forbidden Palace. 
I had tried to get up to a park. There's a park called Jingshang Park right behind the Forbidden Palace where you can have amazing views of the entire place but you have to have tickets in advance and they only allow 60 passport holders in every day so that's quite limiting in a city full of foreigners but at the same time I understand why they're doing it my voice sounds really deep I understand why they're doing it it's just a little frustrating but it gives you great views, so if you come to Beijing, check out Jingshong Park, and then you get a great overview of the entire area. In the meantime, I'm going to show you the outside of Forbidden Palace, since we can't go in there either this morning. It's just a beautiful morning and a walk today. One of the things that I really love most about living in Beijing is people save up their money for years to come here to see this place. And I think sometimes I take advantage of the fact that when I lived here, I would go past it every day for work. And not having lived here in Beijing for the last three years, being able to see it just in a normal walk, I, I appreciate it more than I ever have in the past. It's quite impressive when you think about it. How many hundreds of years this has been around at the center of the city. I think it was burnt at one point, but it was rebuilt. So because everything is closed this morning, and now that I'm getting my voice back, all right, because everything is not open this morning, at least to me, because I didn't plan it as effectively as I maybe could have, but impromptu trip, couldn't necessarily make all of those plans, but I thought that I would take you through the hutongs for a slight walking tour. I wouldn't call it a tour, a view, a slight view of the hutongs. A lot of these hutongs have been renovated, so they look more modern, but some of them still have shared bathrooms and, and all of that. So let's try to do that this morning before I have to head back to Tianjin just give you a little peek at some of the hutongs if I can get in. I think I can. I think I can, I think I can. See, like this is where somebody would live. Like it's kind of in here. So you walk in through the wall and then you have all these little houses inside. See what we can find without getting run over. Okay, so I am at another entrance here to the Forbidden Palace. If you look down that way, that's where I was initially and just walked along this whole wall here in the Hutong. Fun morning, just exploring Beijing again. I know it's not an extensive tour. <laughs> I hope that's not what you came here for, but just a, a really fun way to spend a couple of hours in Beijing. Went to 798 San Latun uh, for some fun and then just a little bit of culture here in the city as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am going to head back to the hotel because I've got to head back to Tianjin to finish my day. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching it. I know this wasn't an extensive tour, but if you are really uh, interested in seeing more of Beijing, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, I need to head back to Tianjin. If you haven't checked it out yet, please check out the link below for my playlist on the Tianjin series that I've done where I show you a little bit more about Tianjin and uh, hope you guys continue to enjoy these China vlogs as I can get out and about in China now. So look forward to more. I've got some exciting trips coming up at the end of the month, so check it out. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.